Now, you've probably heard the old saying, when asked to be somewhere, folks might say, I'll be there, good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Well, we use that saying a lot out here at Chaco, and I always thought that it had something to do with high water in the creek that might keep me from crossing it. But some historians have a different idea about where the saying originated, and it started with a written note in the early 1800s. Now, at that time, Colonel Andrew Jackson, who was later to become president of the United States, led the U.S. in a war with the Creek Indian Nation down around the Alabama coast and the Florida Panhandle. Well, the Creeks were subdued, but not really conquered, so the unrest with them simmered for a long time, and folks were never really sure whether the Creeks might create an uprising and start fighting again. Well, after Jackson was elected president, a fellow named Benjamin Hawkins was named General Superintendent for Indian Affairs and was the principal agent to the Creek Nation. Now, Hawkins was, was pretty friendly to the Creeks. He even learned the Creek language and actually married a Creek girl but he evidently stayed pretty nervous about the Creeks going back on the war path. If that should happen, he wanted to stay in the vicinity to help defuse the situation because he had such a good rapport with the Indians. Well, President Jackson continued to be interested in the affairs of the Creeks and on one occasion sent a message to Agent Hawkins to come to Washington and give him a firsthand report. Hawkins sent President Jackson a message back that he would be in Washington on a certain date if the good Lord is willing and the creek don't rise. And that, according to some learned folks, is where that saying came from. Not flooded waters, like most of us thought, but worries about an Indian uprising. So now you know. I'm Jim Ritchie, and if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, I'll see you again next time.